Hi, good evening. How are you? Hi. Sorry, teacher. Hey, excellent. So we're going to begin with our class. And first of all, what we are going to do is to make a review about yesterday's class. Vamos a hacer un repaso de lo del día de ayer. So, what did we study yesterday? Can you tell me? ¿Qué fue lo que estudiamos ayer? Veamos. Different verbs. Ah, excellent, Reinaldo. We were studying different verbs. What else? Mm, cry. Okay. Excellent. Open, open, open. close. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, yesterday basically we were studying action verbs because if you remember, we also study how to give commands. Estuvimos viendo cómo dar órdenes en el trabajo. If you remember, some of you were saying, for example, write a memo, check your email, uh, write a check, etc. So we're going to begin by making a review about that. And I remember that you made a list. Me acuerdo que ustedes hicieron una lista con las actividades que ustedes hacen, ¿verdad? Es decir, usando lo que son los imperativos. So, let me see. We're going to begin with Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, díganos usted algunos ejemplos de los que escribió. No, no, Tell me, teacher. Hi, Juan Carlos. Can you tell us some of the examples that you wrote yesterday? Um, yesterday, um, for example, um, please, uh, Tell me which um, report. Okay. Or send report. Okay. Um, only. Only? Um, no. So if you have more examples, you can tell us. Okay. Um, please. Um, please, a uh, real. Are you most late at work? Arrive. Arrive. Uh -huh. More. More earlier at work. Ah, okay. Arrive earlier at, at work. Okay. Que llegue más temprano al trabajo. Yes. Okay. What else? Only? Oh, only. Okay. Thank you. So, Juan Carlos, can you choose another welcome. person, please? Mm. Mm, so, uh, give me a second, teacher. Sure. Uh, bueno. Me aparece el primero, que, oh, lo primero que me aparece, ni modo. Silvia Suleiman. Sorry. Okay. Uh, please check the letter. Okay. What else? Which other examples do you have, Silvia? Ah, necesita que le diga todos los ejemplos que hicimos. Ah, okay. Um, quiero ver. Prepare document for account. 
Um, need to supervise delivery of by lunch factory. And, and visit visit the court house. Okay. Thank you, Sylvia. Uh, Sylvia, can you choose another person, please? Miguel Ángel. Okay, Miguel Ángel. Hi, teacher. Me escuché muy bien. Uh, we are just making a review about yesterday's class. Estamos haciendo el repaso de la clase de ayer. Uh, can you tell us the examples that you wrote about commands? ¿No puedes leer los ejemplos que escribió de las órdenes o instrucciones? Okay, teacher. Uh, prepare meeting. Prepare meeting. Check list clients. Um, check materials, electronic. Check electronic materials. Uh, electronic materials. Uh -huh. uh, so, look, this is what we did in group. Ah, okay, excellent. Uh -huh. um, review budget. Budget. Con, con uh -huh, budget. Uh, Meet with a team. Um, check the report. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to check attendance right now. Voy a pasar entonces asistencia y ya le voy a decir en lo que vamos a trabajar en unos segundos. So, let me see. Albanelli Reyes. Ana Delmi Herrera. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present. Thank you. Consuelo del Carmen Rivera. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daniel Enrique Orellana. Present, teacher. Thank you. Giovanni Alexander Pineda. Isabel Beatriz Joya. Juan Carlos Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Osmel Vizcarra. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Yvette Márquez. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Renata Romero. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. Zenaida América. Ah, de la referencia. Present teacher. Eh. Ok, thank you, Zenaida. Thank you. Uh, Silvia Suleima. Present teacher. Thank you, Suleima Verónica. Xiomara del Carmen. Daniela Alexandra. Y Jenny Carolina. Okay, thank you. So we have checked the attendance right now and we are going to continue. So yesterday we studied some action verbs also, we studied how to give commands, how to do it in a polite way. So right now we are going to practice that, but with the verbs that we studied. So for example, I can say that Daniel Luna will start and you are going to perform the activities that he tells you, but only if you listen to him saying please. If he doesn't say please, you're not going to do it, okay? Lo vamos a ir haciendo de esta forma. Si el compañero les dice please, ustedes van a realizar la acción. Si él no dice please, ustedes no lo van a hacer. 
So, for example, if I say sing, do you always go sing? Van a cantar, si o no? No. No, because I didn't say please, right? Porque no le dije, por favor. But if I say please stand up, ahí sí, ustedes. Okay, excellent. That's what we are going to do right now. Es lo que vamos a hacer. Alguna variante del Simon says, o de lo Simon dice, ¿verdad? Solo que ahora es con please, okay? Um, let's see, Daniel. Sí. Sorry, Claudia. Eh, disculpe, teacher, fíjese que ayer yo no pude estar en la clase, así es que va a disculpar que sí ando un poco extraviada y no pude ver el video para ponerme al día con la clase. Ok. Ok, don't worry, Claudia. Um, we are going to make a review about yesterday's class. Vamos a hacer un repaso de la clase de ayer. Vamos a hacer una dinámica con la variante de lo que es Simón dice. Solo que en vez de usar la frase Simón dice, vamos a usar el please. Si usted escucha que el compañero dice please y dice la actividad o el verbo, nosotros la vamos a realizar. Pero si él no dice el please, no vamos a hacer nada. Ok. I was telling you the example. Okay. Um, sing. Ahí ustedes no van a cantar porque no se les está But if I say, please speak. Uh -huh. Please speak. Hablar. Okay. So you are going to do it. Okay. So that's what we are going to do. So Daniel is going to be the first one that is going to tell us what to do or not what to do, okay? Daniel va a iniciar diciéndonos qué hacer o qué no hacer. So let's begin, Daniel, please. Okay, how many times I can say the activity? Uh, please, four times. Four times, okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, please. Uh, you can um, think, please. Please uh, try. Right. Right. Please hands up. Hands up. Manos arriba. Okay, thank you. Please smile. Okay. Then I choose the next person. Yes, you can choose the next person, please. Okay, Mr. Uh, Reynaldo. Please, room. Okay. Please sit down. <laughs> please stand up. Okay. Please dance. Please uh, sleep. <laughs> okay. Listen. <laughs> uh -uh, he didn't say please. No tenía que, no te, no que hacer nada. Ah, he didn't say please. Excellent, Reynaldo. <laughs> Good. So, Reynaldo, okay. let me choose another person, please. Eh, Claudia Guadalupe. Okay, Claudia. Is she? Yes, she is. Okay. <laughs> and, and please sing. La, 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 la. <laughs> Um, please close your eyes. Okay. Uh, sleep. Okay. <laughs> Master. Excellent, Claudia. Uh, just one thing. She said, close your eyes. Ella dijo, close, que cerraran los ojos. Vi a alguien que los estaba abriendo de más. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so be careful on that. Excellent. Vaya, perfecto. Um, eso es lo que estuvimos haciendo el día de ayer, pero estudiando action verbs para estar dando instrucciones o indicaciones, estar dando... Ahora vamos con un nuevo contenido. We are going to be studying the differences between have to and need to. Vamos a estudiar la diferencia del have to y del need to. Do you have an idea what have to or need to is used for? ¿Saben cuándo es que se utiliza lo que es el have to o el need to? No. No. So for no. example, no. let me no, share no. screen right now. Me voy a compartir la pizarrita entonces. So sometimes you're going to listen to some people that are saying or that say, I have to get up early every day. So you can see here, I have to get up early every day. Tengo que despertarme temprano todos los días. I have to wear a uniform at work. Esto para algunos, pero tengo que usar un uniforme en el trabajo. Or you can tell me, um, she has to write reports. Ella tiene que escribir reports. Ahí estoy usando lo que es el have to. Ahora bien, con el need to, vamos prácticamente con la misma forma, ¿verdad? I can tell you, I need to sleep um, early every day. Tengo que dormirme, o necesito dormirme temprano todos los días. He needs to eat his vegetables. Él necesita comer sus vegetales. O, sorry, you need to study. English hard. Okay? So you can see that here I have this example. Pueden ver que tengo lo que son estos ejemplos, ¿verdad? Con el have to y el need to. En uno estoy expresando algo que yo tengo que hacer y en las otras estoy expresando algo